Okay, welcome to Orwell. Released October 27th, 2016. Developed and published by Osmotic Studios. Big Brother has arrived, and it's you. Investigate the lives of citizens to find those responsible for a series of terror attacks. Information from the internet, personal communications, and private files are all accessible to you. But be warned, the information you supply will have consequences. Looking forward to this one. Commenter had mentioned that... Uh, Cyber Manhunt was a sort of uh, version of a game, of this game, uh, of, of sorts. That's not exactly what they said, I'm paraphrasing, but um, I really wanted Cyber Manhunt to be a good game. I really wanted it to be. It wasn't, but I really wanted it to be. And so I actually had picked this up before I received that comment, so I was really glad to see that, because I was on the fence as to whether or not this even is the kind of game that I would review on this channel. So um, I guess we'll see, but it does make me hopeful. <clears throat> Freedom Plaza. Must be the aforementioned terror attack. The clocks were striking 13. I certainly hope they weren't. You're online. Good. Symes. Call me Symes. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. Oh god, I don't know if I'm ready for that. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Cannot move. Cannot move the window. There we go, that took a while to load. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open up the unknown person file once you're done. Okay. The profiler holds all the information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is from our main suspect. It's for our main suspect. Okay. The blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Set. Yeah. Uh, okay. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal the relevance to the case. Okay, it's doing the same thing that Cyber Manhunt did, where you have to click on things to fill out a thing. I did not like that mechanic. It's a terrible mechanic. Can I... What, what the hell? Oh. It's actually even worse. You have to click and drag it. And just like Cyber Manhunt, it's not letting me gather data chunks that are relevant, like former arrest date, former charge, holding facility. This victim was arrested on site. Struck by an unknown object and became a response of the protesters at the origin of the assault were facing the moon. Weeping on the ground, asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated. So it doesn't sound like she was actually was guilty of anything. Officer Franklin was struck by an unknown object by an unknown person. And then she was found kneeling and weeping. Okay. Yeah, okay. That was weird. Okay. got some red herring sites it seems that's good um 
not able to collect other relevant information. Not on our subject here, but dates and times and so on. Uh, now it's that I contain the first three stanzas of the German folk song. The Gedanken sind frei. Thoughts are free. I'm, I don't speak German, so if I'm butchered that, I'm sorry. Okay. So it seems like it contains some relevant information here. <clears throat> well, I can go back to these. I'm not sure why I would need to, but all right. Well, I don't know what else you want me to click and drag, because although there is tons of information in here that... Oh, I see the picture. That is relevant. Um, I'm not seeing... Okay. I, okay. Pictures and names are crucial information. Yes, okay. Information is not going to be my data chunk. Okay. Okay, so you can't even collect everything until the game tells me that it's time to collect it. Okay. I knew that that was relevant right away, and I couldn't collect it until after I got the picture. Okay. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer, and you'll see what I mean. Okay. When the police officer two weeks ago remains in custody, trust us for August. The incident occurred during a rampage at. Well. Okay, seems, I know that you don't believe in coincidence. I don't happen to be much of a believer in just about anything. Uh, I believe that coincidences happen, but I, I don't necessarily believe it, that most things are a coincidence. But this is definitely one of those. It's Freedom Plaza. It's a plaza in the middle of the city. Why would that be a coincidence? Because people congregate there? Of course they do. It's the plaza. Exact same location as well yeah again it's a public place where people congregate it's a plaza that's like saying uh that somebody was caught shoplifting at walmart and then a walmart employee got their car stolen like <laughs> whatever <laughs> So you have, uh, when you said that she was responsible, this is your connection. I thought that her body was found or, or that there was the video footage I was just looking at or something. But okay. That's where I am. Artist by profession. The newspaper knows more about our subject than we do. Great, you found another document before we can go on. Let's clarify our job and how it affects mine, shall we? Okay. Going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates what investigators like yourself uh, are the only ones allowed to access documents of, target per documents of targeted persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw a conclusion. So th this is actually one thing that I, I would point out is that not, I mean, every... Um, every investigative unit and every forensic lab is going to work a little bit differently. Um, and some of them are so short staffed that there's people doing multiple jobs, but ideally you would have enough staff that there would be a separation like this. So typically there's going to be three main phases to, to any investigation. There's going to be the investigative phase, the examination phase, and the analysis phase. Investigators are going to be the ones who do the initial identification of potential forensic source, sources for forensic artifacts. What the hell? Um, they're the ones who are going to be called to the scene. They're going to do the actual imaging. They're going to seize um, evidence, uh, laptops, flash drives, and stuff. Uh, they're, going, they're going to be responsible for all of that. And if something happens and they need to go and gather more information, they'll be sent back out to do that. This allows people to specialize in the actual search and seizure process, the, the legal like uh, search, seizure, establishing chain of custody, um, and the actual seizing and evidence handling part of all of this, and then the acquisition, the initial acquisition. 
Then it moves on to the examination phase. So these are people who don't go out to the scene. They receive the evidence from the investigators. They do the deeper dive, the forensic analysis. They run forensic tests, generate forensic reports. Um, in an investigation like this, in OSINT investigations, the examiners would be the ones who are looking for and at the sensitive documents and then sending investigators out to gather more information based upon what they dig up. And this is a different skill because that's a full-time job. Like there's tons of data to go through in even small investigations. And so examiners specialize in that. Analysts, or in this case, what they call advisors, are the ones who receive the forensic reports from the examiners. And they have two jobs, one to verify, well, three jobs, three main jobs. They, everyone's doing so much, but three main jobs. Um, first, they receive the forensic reports from the examiners. Their job is to verify those results by rerunning the certain forensic tests, making sure that the results come out the same, uh, verifying that the documents are complete, that they make sense, and that their results are repeatable. Uh, second job is to compile all of those forensic reports into a case report. And then the third job, very important, to communicate that out to lay people. So people who are involved in the, the either in the investigation who aren't part of the investigative unit or forensic team, um, who are part of the legal process or are part of the business process, maybe stakeholders or something like that, and pass that information on to other people who can make use of it. So, uh, and yes, analysts shouldn't have access to the original evidence only investigators have access to the original evidence examiners have access to forensic copies of that evidence and then analysts really only need to have access to the forensic reports and to whatever they need to do in order to run their uh, verification tests so they, they're not going to have access to anything sensitive or privileged but they do have the totality they're the only ones on the team who have the totality of the evidence from all of the uh, examiners your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to, prog to progress the case. Okay. Sandra's port. All right. So, um, it's highlighting some stuff. A colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. Well, that's... not where you live <laughs> it says that's her location um i quit my dull day job focus on my art career um previously oh that's a background information yeah okay full-time artist and i can hit to save yeah that's what the plan is guy okay? i thought you were going to shut up and let me do my job now uh my utel count there we go Uh, hold on dude seems you're you i guess ashley was the inspiration or you were the inspiration for ashley stop bothering me wait having the chat handle allows us to overhear any conversation based on that account weird you shouldn't be able to do that um new portraits i think the one we have is better Personally, there we don't need that. Uh, kitty cat. Um, businessman's forgotten daughter. Yeah, maybe that's all we've got on her parents right now. So, in a relationship with Kevin Spacey, apparently. All right, listeners up. Yeah, we shouldn't be able to. We shouldn't be able to do that. This shouldn't. We shouldn't be able to do this. Jossie. I mean, we know who this is, Jossie. Jossie is Joseph. Uh, 
Why did you do that? Why did you... Why did you do that? Well, number one, he didn't report it stolen, so they're going to know that you're listening to these conversations. So you just burned an avenue of information, and we had the ability to track her because we could have filed purchases on the credit card. Why did you do that, Seems? Relationship with her attorney. Conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, this will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. Okay. With the case being closed due to lack of evidence. Yep, what's the conflict? Show conflict. I can't see. Okay, well, it's something here in the background. <laughs> I, it's not showing the conflict, so. Oh, not all. Okay. Alright. Let's try this one. A uh, wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. Oh, I see. That's the conflict. There's two conflicting pieces of information here. Well, this is probably the one we're looking for. <laughs> if we had their names, geez, wherever will we get them? <laughs> Bruno Watergate, can't collect that. Allow Dr. Yon's water again. Can't collect that. <laughs> yep, she sure did. Sure, I'll get to it in a second. Okay, come on. Seems too much. Too much. Busting into my office here, breaking down the goddamn door. It's too much. Stop. Okay, how is this relevant? Okay. Doesn't seem relevant to me. <laughs> Stupid picture. Birthday. Interests. Interests.
I mean... Seems like a Tumblr edgelord to me, but okay. Haven't found the conflict. Uh... Enough seems enough. Monikers are important to collect. There's the conflict. So we collect... More recent. <laughs> Come on. There's there's nothing connecting heard of this bombing, except the fact that she was arrested a week before. Yeah, no shit. Pretty sure. <laughs> okay, you you are the attorney here. No, it's my boy seems he's arbitrarily turning off people's credit cards for pretty much no reason and for bad reasons on top of that. But he's from the government, so it's okay. She all upset. Ooh, she on drugs. Look it up yourself. I want me to Google that for you. Fuck you, seems. Who's this important client, I wonder? Let's go. Come on, move on. Here I am observing a lover spat. I shouldn't be to begin with, but here I am. Okay. Seems needs me to Google that for him.
Lemon taste, mood elevating medication. Here I am gathering all this information about a probably innocent person. She might be emotionally... Dude, that is... Seems. Seems, bro. Okay, listen. Mental health is just as important as physical health. Just, you know, it, it, what you just said, that's like saying, like, because somebody uh, lost a leg or something like that, that's like saying, oh, they're probably really reckless and make really bad decisions. You see how wrong that is when you, when you change it from uh, a mental issue to a physical issue? It's the same thing. It doesn't make her emotionally unstable because she needs to be on antidepressants. I mean, she's being treated for an illness, you fucking prick. <laughs> Looking at what you have extracted, we're dealing with... No, we're not. I haven't seen... What are you talking about? Seems. You are in the wrong business, my dude. Mm, you know, don't do... Seems, you... <laughs> seems. What are you doing? <laughs> Good God. Seems as dangerous. You should not be doing this job. Okay. I don't, it says there's something here, but I don't know what it is. Alright, whatever. The thought. Okay. Okay. I haven't found the conflict yet, but it says they want a peaceful protest. Can't get into those. Can I get into any of the archived ones? I cannot. So where's the... Uh... Oh, still don't see a conflict. There's gold fills. Okay. There's the conflict. I mean, that's not really a conflict, though. You, they, they could have been there for a peaceful protest, and she could say that surveillance is wrong and deserves to be destroyed. I mean... Okay. Is there... Alright, I'm gonna go with, uh... This. Because those two things aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah, we are. Dude, this is... She has nothing, no indication. Maybe somebody in her group did this, but she did not. Okay. Oh, great, another one of these. Hooray. <laughs> mm hmm.
うんうん。I don't know the circumstances here, but Juliet doesn't really have much incentive to lie. Cassandra is intentionally incriminating herself、uh, because I lost it. I'm going to go with this one.、Uh, there's, Juliet, in this case, has, I mean, she might be softening the blow for her friend, but. Um, okay. Okay. And okay. I mean, she feels like she lost it. Maybe she did, but maybe she was legitimately protecting her friend. This. The, the two statements aren't mutually exclusive. Okay. Maybe you're right. I mean, yeah, you definitely should. I mean, that's still in poor taste if people got hurt, right? <laughs> Somebody's at the door. It's going to be the cops. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? How's your boyfriend? Let's talk about boys. She's busy getting arrested. Uh, thank you, Seams. I'm glad that I, my performance has inspired confidence in you. I, I wish that I could say the same, but I do not. I feel your performance has, if anything, undermined whatever confidence I may have had from your smart little goatee. Um, but、uh, clearly, you are in the wrong business. You're jumping to conclusions. You're making baseless accusations. You're cutting off people's credit cards like left and right. You're, you, you, you're not. This is. Okay, listen, buddy. This is not a job for everybody. All right. Not everybody can handle the pressure. Not everybody can handle the work. It's, it's natural and normal. Let's find you a nice janitor's closet. We can get you a jumpsuit. We'll find something for you to do. There's windows that got to be washed. There's no shame in that. It's honest work, buddy. No, no. Take a look at the news. Another explosion. See, seems this is what happens when you send me barking up the wrong tree. I could have been finding who was actually responsible for this, but you were so sure that、uh, Cassandra here was an unstable、uh, terrorist. This is your fault. I hope you feel guilty about this. This should keep you up at night. Should have let me do my job instead of interrupting me every 10 seconds. Okay, apparently you haven't learned your lesson. There's a letter. I could have been analyzing a letter. You mentioned this now. Seems. Dude, you're bad at this. Goodness, you are so bad at this. Okay, exit. Uh, yes. Based on the data you submitted, we have learned the following Global assault on Freedom Plaza. A severe assault occurred at the Freedom Plaza yesterday. Cassandra Watergate was present there prior to the assault and is thus being investigated. Activist group thought. Hints of the involvement of an activist group named Thought have been found. Well, no, we don't know that. This is, this is wrong. We know that Cassandra belonged to an activist group named Thought. We have no connection between the bombing and Thought at all. We had no connection between Cassandra and the bombing at all. If Thought is connected to Cassandra and Cassandra is not connected to the bombing, Thought is not connected to the bombing. A second assault at. Delegate University occurred, seemingly connected to the first. This suggests Cassandra Watergate is either not the only perpetrator or not involved at all. I don't have any indication that she is involved at all. She's been criminally charged with an injury of a police officer at a past protest at the Freedom Plaza. Yes, she's an artist. Former criminal case might have been closed. Okay, possibly. She's in a relationship with her lawyer. Yes, which 
if anything, these two statements might be conflicting. She seems to have undergone a radical change. She going, yes. Uh, dangerous personality more through. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. <laughs> There's no reason for us to continue this investigation. Okay, I'm gonna cut this here. All right, so thank you for joining me for Orwell. Uh, this game and Cyber Manhunt do seem to have some considerable similarities. Um, not some of the parts I didn't like about Cyber Manhunt are present in this game, and that's unfortunate. Uh, this game has a little bit less robustness, a little less fair similitude, a little less freedom, um, because we're kind of stuck with this weird navigator thing with the reader and everything. That said, I, I what I like about Cyber Manhunt is also present in this game. Um, you know, it's very rare to even have an OSINT game. This has some elements of that. Uh, this seems to be a lot heavier uh, emphasis on building out a profile, which I actually like. So uh, um, uh, conducting an OSINT investigation and building out a digital bibliography and uh, an ideographic digital profile isn't something I would ever expect to encounter in a game, but this game is bu building out an ideographic digital profile. Uh, this game is using some... OSINT themed type stuff in order to do so. Um, Cyber Manhunt did those things as well, and I liked that about that game. Um, so overall, I would say that the two games are actually fairly comparable. Of the two, I give the UA, you, the edge for UI to Cyber Manhunt. Um, I give the edge for... Um, I like that there's conflicting information in this one, and I like that it's highlighted for you as you go through. You don't have to go hunting around looking for highlighted text. So I would give the actual edge as far as like the OSINT puzzle part of the game to Orwell. Um, and we didn't have any of the, the stupid hacking themed puzzles that uh, Cyber Manhunt had. Uh, and we didn't... It seems and Ashley, they are a match made in heaven. They both suck and I hate them for the same reasons. But we didn't have the poor voice acting in Orwell, which I at least appreciate. I'd rather just read the text if it's going to be read badly. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Both games uh, have the same good and bad points. So I'm going to move on, though. Take it easy.